now uh, let's uh, look into terraform uh, workflow so hersey corp and the terraform community have already written thousands of providers to manage many different types of resources and services you can find all publicly available providers on terraform reg registry including amazon web services azure cloud cloud platform kubernetes helm github splunk uh, datadog and many more many more many more so let me take you through that uh, uh, terraform okay here it is uh, and then terraform registry yeah the correct one here we can find out the providers so browse providers browse modules browse policy libraries browse run tasks so let me click on yeah here you can see featured providers but uh, if you click on uh, browse providers you'll get it so these are the providers or logical abstraction of an upstream api they are responsible for understanding api interactions and exposing resources okay so our google platform azure kubernetes alibaba cloud oracle cloud infrastructure aws amazon web services then active directory archive aws cloud control dns cloud init external workspace helm nomad http so a lot of providers are partner providers are this so now let me get back to the previous slide here you see this that's the reason that time i did not uh, stress this uh, uh, flow chart up because so once i show the providers actually then i can ex if i explain it would look much better so here what happens you have a terraform and then terraform provider terraform provider and then target api so you got to know you know terraform the tool and then you know who are the terraform providers then you know what is api so api so this is how the whole terraform system works so then so let's get back so as we have discussed there are n number of uh, terraform uh, uh, providers we have uh, so so such as aws gcp kubernetes helm so now the core terraform workflow consists of three stages that you can see on your screen right stage plan stage and apply stage so what happens in a right stage in a right stage you define resources which may be across multiple cloud providers and services for example you might create a configuration to deploy an application on virtual machines in a virtual private cloud network with security groups and load balancer it's a lot it's a lot so all these things you can do with one configuration file that's what i'm saying it, your deployment it's a basically a huge uh, manual process a deployment basically what example i have taken here the example that i have taken is so for to deploy an application in virtual mission of course and after that in a virtual private cloud so vpc virtual mission and application for that you obviously you have to set up your security group and then load balancer so in cloud how many services are required to do this exercise you need a virtual mission you need a vpc you need a security group you need a load balancer security group you can create when you uh, set up an instance that's fine but uh, by and large you require four services so it took a lot of manual work to do but what you can do is to deploy an application in a virtual machine uh, in a vpc with a specific security group uh, using a load balancer so it's all you can run it you can write a file you have to define the configuration file and then 
there are two types again terraform configuration and then terraform state files so now we are not talking about the state file now we are talking about the terraform configuration file so in that configuration file you mention all these activities then automatically if you apply that configuration file your activity will be done and you see the application running and you can access the application i got you got my point so that's what the right is so right define infrastructure configuration files so the second stage for us is plan plan so plan terraform here terraform creates an execution plan describing the infrastructure it will create update or destroy based on the existing infrastructure and your configuration that you have written so it all depends upon your configuration file but it will create a plan how to do how to execute the account uh, execute the orders that you have that you have given in configuration file that's what happens in plan in plan it it review the changes terraform will make to your infrastructure that's what the plan is then we have the most important and then final stage of terraform workflow is apply so apply on approval once it is given approval terraform pr performs the proposed operations in the correct order respecting any resource dependencies for example if you update the properties of a vpc that's a virtual private cloud and change the number of virtual machines in that vpc so terraform will create terraform will recreate the virtual private cloud scaling the virtual machines so this is one example for the apply you can take a lot of examples however so here so this workflow creating a configuration file then plan the changes then apply it to the specific service provider it could be aws datadog gcp and uh, microsoft azure or you have thousand plus providers and this is the workflow of terraform